The quantum engineering and computing group at BBN got its start about 20 years ago, and that was in developing a quantum network in the Boston, Cambridge area. So this was our first kind of major research effort as a group where we demonstrated the world's first quantum key distribution network in the area. And this is the sort of thing that we really do best here. We take an entirely new idea and realize something which actually is functional on the timescale of a few years. In that particular instance, that was for quantum key distribution. But more recently, we've kind of developed uh, a whole bunch of new technology areas. At this point, we focus on quantum computing, advanced 2D materials research, optics and photonics, and neuromorphic and energy efficient computing. But those areas have been constantly evolving over the last several years. We're really working across the full stack of quantum technology, so developing algorithms, hardware and software to better perfect quantum computers. Especially in algorithms, a lot of what we do is uh, looking for new technologies, new algorithms that might show a useful quantum advantage before we build a truly universal quantum computer. Uh, so some of that work involves looking at plasma physics, uh, routing, planning, even solving differential equations. Some of what we do as well is understanding how to characterize and verify our quantum processors. Answering questions like, how do you know uh, you've done the correct quantum operation without requiring an exponential number of measurements, uh, which would be impossible to do in practice. I think the unique aspect of the Raytheon BBN is that uh, we do quantum information in the way that uh, we both doing the fundamental science as well as the application of the upcoming quantum technologies. I think the capturing both aspects of it is a very special blend that we have and uh, make us uh, very special among both the academia as well as the industry working on the quantum world. I lead research on uh, optics and energy photonics uh, for a wide range of applications in classical and quantum domain. And these applications include sensing, signal processing, communications, as well as interconnect. Example applications for sensing, you can think of conversion of uh, infrared to visible, or examples of communication is like interconnect is transferring massive amount of data from uh, low temperature to room temperature, where a lot of sensors are cold. Uh, we need to get data from cold to room temperature, and we take advantage of optical technology which provides wide bandwidth and low loss. I think the biggest challenge we have uh, at Raytheon BBN is really staying on top of the current research trends and emerging research trends, which people don't necessarily see coming. Um, and a lot of that kind of happens in these interstitial regions, which are between the different areas that we focus on. So the quantum computing and the 2D materials have kind of merged where we're trying to create these fundamentally new qubits based on uh, graphene. And that's true in other areas, combining optical and superconducting technologies to do uh, interconversion to enable better information flow into and out of the fridges where quantum computing is done here. So there's a lot of opportunities kind of between fields and it, it can be difficult to stay on top of what's emerging in those areas. One of the things that we're trying to do for the qubit is uh, we want to see how we can improve the lifetime of the qubit. This is one of the most uh, difficult part of having the quantum technologies uh, become scalable. This, uh, quantum information living inside the qubit is very, very delicate and they don't live very long. And one of the goals for us is to uh, think of some material system, a platform that will have a lower environmental noise so that we can uh, elongate the lifetime of the qubit. I really like working here because it's the sort of place where you can take a new idea and really see it through its fruition. So what we typically do is come up with a new research idea. This could be something fundamentally new like a, a qubit based on advanced 2D uh, materials like graphene. What we do at that point is find some partners. This could be academic partners, um, industrial or government partners. We create a team, we find funding opportunities, uh, and we get this work funded and then work really hard for a few years to, to see it realized.